Summer is officially here, guys, and we are all watching our figures, but let's take a break for just a second and discuss cookie dough. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Kimmy. This is my attic, and yes, like I always say, we talk about it all in the attic, and today we are talking about cookie dough, or more specifically, we are talking about dope cookie dough. Now, you may have seen this product on Shark Tank. Apparently, it was featured there, but for me, I just saw it. It popped up on my Instagram. It seemed like something I would really, really be interested in, and the story of the brand just really, really spoke to me, so this was definitely something that I wanted to try. First of all, I will tell you what the product is. First of all, let me tell you my guilty pleasure. One of them, okay? <laughs> one of my guilty pleasures is Jersey Shore Family Vacation. The other one is cookies, okay? I absolutely love them. Um, if I'm having a hard day, if I'm having a bad day, whatever the case may be, I have been known to stop and get myself a treat. But what do I actually love more than cookies is the dough. Okay, I was always that kid that got in trouble for eating the dough. My mom used to yell at me. My grandmother used to yell at me. Then when I was in college, my roommate used to yell at me. I still did it. Okay, I couldn't help it. I love it. Now, what's awesome about this is it is specifically made for it. This cookie dough is actually made to eat it raw. So there's two sizes. There's like a smaller size and a bigger size. <laughs> That's helpful, right? There's a smaller size and a bigger size. But um, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, this is so there's a five ounce and there's an eight ounce. There you have it. So you can buy this cookie dough. If you're like me and you love it, you can just eat it as is or you can bake it or you can eat a little bit and bake the rest. Let's say you come home, you just feel like having a couple of baked cookies, like, home, like because there's a difference between stopping and getting a cookie and baking a cookie, but you don't want to make like a whole bunch, you don't want to make a dozen, you don't want to make two dozen, you just want to make like two or three. Yeah, so just make two or three, whatever. So I was really, really intrigued by this brand. I thought it was such a great idea. So this dough, I will tell you, um, this dough is actually made differently. It's made with a different kind of flour and it doesn't have eggs in it. So it's actually safe to eat raw, although in all honesty, it never stopped me before. I've been eating cookie dough from uh, a kid and whatever. But now you can eat it. This is actually meant to eat raw. So that's amazing. But what even intrigued me about this company more was the backstory. So the founder of this company, um, did have an addiction. She was addicted to alcohol. I believe it was alcohol. Her name is Kelsey. I'm actually going to read it to you just from the website a little bit. So it says, I'm just reading this off the website. She started her career in tech at 16 years old. Um, she was in product marketing. She confronted her, al her issues with alcohol and got sober in September in 2015. She found her happy place in the kitchen and began baking, stumbling on a great egg substitute that make made her cookie dough safe to eat. So what's really, really intrigued me about this company is it comes with this little pamphlet and it says, she covers foundation. Every purchase of dope helps provide mental health and addiction recovery resources to women in need with our Dope for Hope initiative. How amazing is that? So when you purchase from this brand, I don't even know, exactly know. There's a whole bunch about it on the on the website about um, how much they give to what's it's called She Recovers She Recovers Foundation, and it does help women in recovery. Our com our company reflects our commitment to this mission. We encourage a more honest, open dialogue with mental health days offered for our staff, and our founder Kelsey continues to share her journey to remind others they're not al alone and to encourage them to speak freely about the tough stuff in life. How amazing is that? We put our money where our dough is. We donate a portion of every sale to She Recovers Foundation with the minimum guaranteed donation of $30,000. She Recovers is a nonprofit charity with the mission to connect, support, and empower women who are in or seeking recovery. I mean, that's amazing. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I am a huge advocate of mental health um, and I also have a little bit of experience with addiction, not with myself, but with family members. Um, I know what it's like to love somebody who is addicted. 
it's an absolute hell and I know what it is like to be someone who has gone through mental illness. Um, very, very often they go hand in hand. Addiction and mental illness very, very often go hand in hand and it's just... Um, it's something that is not always really spoken about and like I said if you watch my channel you know that I am such an advocate of speaking about out about mental health it's okay to talk about it it's okay to experience it um and one of the most important things I have said this before I, I think I said it I think when I did my eyeshadow declutter I was talking a little bit about this um finding something that interests you like how she puts it her happy place um Finding some because when you are depressed, you usually you, you lose interest in everything. So you you want to try to find something that interests you. Um, and apparently for her it was um, cookies, and she made this amazing dough, and she built this company, and now she's giving back. And I just think that's amazing. For me, it's actually makeup and beauty. Um, if you ask me what I love to do, if you ask me my hobby, that's what I we tell you it is so so important guys to find something that makes you happy not someone some thing something that makes you happy because you know what you cannot rely on someone else to make you happy you just you just can't you have to rely on yourself you have to find that happiness from within and then if you can find someone to share it with that's amazing but you have to make yourself happy so i was so just overcome with this story i was so just moved. I don't even like have words. So I was so happy to support this brand. Um, we're gonna try it. Let's see how it is. I certainly hope that it's good. All right, so there's a bunch of flavors on the website. You know me, I had to go with the standard sugar fairy dust. So I've got fairy dust, which is really rainbow sprinkle cookies. <laughs> rainbow sprinkle sugar cookies. And I got ride or die, which is the chocolate chip. And I will tell you that I was sitting here kind of like trying to fix my lighting, whatever. And I'm like, well, I might as well just give it a try. Yeah, the whole thing is almost gone. Okay, so there's your taste test. It's amazing. It's freaking amazing. Luckily, I bought the three pack. So what it is, is I think the least you can buy is two. You can buy like a four pack, a six pack. You can pick your flavors. There's lots of flavors on the website. I will post it down below. I, of course, got the two boring flavors because I am a boring person. I like my eyeshadow neutral, and I like sugar cookies, okay? I can't help it. That's who I am. Whatever you want to do, you can you can mix and match. There's like, I think there's like a standard set, and then you can, or you can pick your own. Whatever you want to do, you can go on the website, you pick out what kind of dough you want, and they send it to your house. It comes in a little ice pack, like a little, a little package with dry ice, and it gets this pamphlet, and it tells you Ice packs melted, don't trip. Your dough is safe for two weeks at room temperature, 45 days in the fridge, or one year in the freezer. There's no wrong way to eat this. You can eat it raw or pop chilled dough in the oven for 350, 10 to 12 minutes. Then it says pro tip, pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds and add ice cream. Just trust us, I'm sure that's great. I'm not a real ice cream person. I mean, it's okay, but I'm not like dying for ice cream. I have been dying for cookies, but not always ice cream. And then, um, what else does it say? Oh, life is raw. Don't cry over spilled milk. Pour yourself another glass. Words to live by. Never sugarcoat who you are or what you've been through. You deserve sweetness even still. So go ahead and lick the spoon. And then it tells you about the She, found, she Recovers Foundation. So yeah, amazing. So yeah, this was so, so good. I do have another pack downstairs, so I will go ahead and bake them. And we'll see how they are baked, but... The dough is really good. Oh my god. So good. And then, this one I didn't open yet. This is the fairy dust one. So this is the one with the um, rainbow sprinkles. But I think it's just like a sugar cookie. Oh my god. That's so good. See, I could seriously sit here and eat the dough. I probably will like the dough more than the cookies. But we'll try the cookies. Really good. You like cookies? Highly, highly, highly recommends. Highly recommends. I think there are some stores that it's available in. It's not available anywhere around me. Um, like I said, I will go ahead and post the website down below. 
I think the, the price range, yeah, it ranges from like $34 for two to, um, which makes 30 cookies or 54 spoonfuls, it like tells you. So it gives you the prices. Um, Feel Light, $44.95, makes 60 cookies, that's like four of them. I think what happened was I purchased two, and then they like threw one in, they were like having a sale or something. So, and then there's like a Cookie of the Month Club, I don't know. They have another thing where you can like try it. They have, I know I saw that somewhere. Um, taste test, taste it before committing. Oh, you can try one of the best selling flavors for um, either $12.95 for a pint. Excuse me, $19.95 for the pint or $12.95 for the cup. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do, that you can try it. Um, the dough is really, really, really good. I love it. All right. Let's try to make some cookies and let's see how they are. All right, guys. So I went ahead and baked them all. But the beauty of this is that if you want to just bake one or two, you can do that also. So I made the chocolate chip and I made the sugar. So I don't know if you can hear the dog barking. That's Maggie. That's the puppy. It's about 8 o'clock at night. This girl gets the zoomies something fierce, okay? If you guys have any suggestions on what to do with a puppy with the zoomies, Oh my god, if you have a puppy, you know what the zoomies are. They like run around like crazy and it's always around now. It's always around 8 o'clock at night. She is such a good girl all day and then she lets loose. And it might be right now that because she didn't have enough exercise because she just got spayed. Um, that's a different, that's a whole different story. But for, even before that, she would get the zoomies. She, so maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know, but she... You hear her? Yeah, she gets crazy every night around 8 o'clock. Dog, puppy goes nuts. Anyway, we have the sugar and we have the chocolate chip. So I will go ahead and try them. Really, really good, but I have to tell you, I think I like the dough better. That's no surprise. I love cookie dough. I always love the dough better than the cookie. Chocolate chip, same thing. Cookie's good. Dough is better. Alright guys, so I think it's pretty clear that I am really, really happy with this brand. The cookies are delicious. The dough is delicious. I love the concept. Um, the fact that they donate to women, uh, you know, who are in recovery or who are dealing with mental health issues is just amazing to me. Um... I love everything about it. Guys, if you have ever tried this, I hope you will let me know what you thought of dough. What are your favorite flavors? And are you a cookie person or are you a dough person? Let me know in the comments down below if you like the video. I hope you will give me a, a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel because we talk about it all in the attic. And if there's ever anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments. You can follow me over at Kimi Teresa on Instagram if it's something I can talk about. I absolutely will. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. And as always, please take good care of yourselves so you can take care of someone else. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.